Hello, and welcome to the Altars That Inspire video developed by Reverend Lily Farrell and the Glory Altar Design Ministry at Clear Lake United Methodist Church in Houston, Texas. Today we would like to demonstrate how to make beautiful and inspiring altar designs that will enhance the theme of your church's worship service. These designs can be easy to do and should only take about 30 minutes to put together. When developing an altar design, you may use as your inspiration the theme of your pastor's upcoming sermon or sermon series, your church's liturgical calendar, or a specific biblical story or scripture. Keep in mind that this approach works for all types of designs, whether they are for your traditional, contemporary, gospel, or another type of worship. Let's get started. The first altar design is called Simply Pure. The things you will need for this design are two opaque candle goblets 14 inches tall, two opaque candle goblets 12 inches tall, two opaque glass candlesticks 9 inches tall, two earthen colored chalices, one rectangular basket, five communion napkins, two opaque glass blocks, and two 8-inch square candle holders. Let's begin constructing the design. First, we will place the glass blocks in the bottom of the altar. Place a 6-inch candle into the 8-inch square candle holder and position it on top of the opaque glass block. Now we will turn our attention to the top. Place the white tablecloth across the altar lengthwise. If you have selected a tablecloth that hangs over the side of your altar, you should consider having at least a 4 inch overhang. Place the rectangular basket in the center of the altar. Prop the basket up slightly in the back to allow a better display of the communion bread. Cover the basket with one of the communion napkins. Place the two earthen chalices on each side of the basket. Fold the other four communion napkins and place one on each side of the basket and one next to each chalice. These will be used to cover the blessed bread and wine at the end of the communion celebration. Place candles onto the candlesticks and into each of the candle goblets. Arrange the goblets and candlesticks such that they are located at each end of the altar and staggered in height. Your altar decoration is complete. All you need to do is light the candles just before the worship service. The next altar design is called More Precious Than Gold. The things you will need for this design are 8 yards of gold material, preferably satin light, cut into 3 yard and 5 yard pieces. 2 gold candle goblets 16 inches tall. 2 gold candle goblets 14 inches tall two gold candle goblets 12 inches tall, two earthen colored chalices, one rectangular basket, five communion napkins, two opaque glass blocks, two fruit urns filled with various colored artificial fruits such as dark purple grapes, light green grapes, lemons, pears, and apples, one 12-foot strand of green variegated grapevine, Let's begin constructing our second design. First, we will place the glass blocks in the bottom of the altar. Position the two tallest gold goblets on top of the glass blocks and arrange the five yards of gold material around them. Place a medium and small goblet in each of the altar openings so that you have varying heights on each side. Arrange the 12-foot variegated grapevine on top of the gold fabric so that it encircles and flows around the glass blocks. This is what the bottom of your altar should look like. Now we will turn our attention to the top of the altar. Place the three foot gold material across the altar lengthwise. You may choose to allow the gold material to hang over the side of your altar. If so, you should consider having at least a four inch overhang. Place the rectangular basket in the center of the altar. Cover the basket with one of the communion napkins. Place the two earthen chalices on each side of the basket. Fold the other four communion napkins and place one on each side of the basket 
and one next to each chalice. These will be used to cover the blessed bread and wine at the end of the communion celebration. Fill each of the urns with varying colors of fruit to complement the gold material. Allow some of the grapes to drape over the sides of the urns. Your altar design is complete. All you need to do is light the candles just before the worship service. At this time, we would like to show you two additional altar designs that you can make with relative ease. This is the Bountiful Harvest design. And this is the Regal Red design. Thank you for allowing us to share our ideas for altar design with you today. We hope that this material will be helpful to you as you develop your own altars that inspire.